So the conversation today was about um, playing your amp through a 412 or a 212 at home. And I think for the brown eye, you're not going to have any problems. Um, but one thing you mentioned was um, playing along with music and stuff like that. And um, if you have this amp through your cabinet and you have like music playing some other peripheral way, it's really not going to be fun and you always want it to be mixed perfectly in your ear, right? Um, so to do that type of stuff for practice, um, what I do is I use the Sur Reactive Load, which is over here. And um, I have the 77 Marshall. Hooked up to it. And it doesn't have a loop, but it doesn't matter because the Sur Reactive Load gives you a line level signal. So you can do all types of things and put, you know, effects after the, uh, the load, you know. So here I am, like, sitting in front of this monster amp, and by the way, I just want to say that that is the fifth pickup selection, uh, fourth position. So this amp becomes like a monster. So you know, I'm I'm able to just enjoy these amps like they're like they're amazing modelers. Um, but you get the benefits of you know a real amp and the feel, the touch, the tone, and everything. But what's happening here, just, I just need to explain, because a little level of complexity is that I do have, um, I do have my interface and I do have um, Pro, Pro Tools. And, um, you know, basically the interface becomes your sound card. And then I have, you know, the interface outputting to the Friedman cabinet. And it's, it's a great solution and it gets me the best of both worlds. practice and hang out and not have to worry about volume and then the other thing is now it's all set up so if I want to record put drums on it all comes to the monitor and then what I do is I put like an audio track of a song that I have in my iTunes library um, into Pro Tools and I run it as a mono you know as like a mono uh, file and then I can jam over it and do cover videos and everything like that and then even cooler is that the Friedman monitor has an output so I can run the output of my entire Pro Tools studio mix into the zoom camera so um, so you know listen I've played I've tried everything and I spent a lot of money trying to figure all this stuff out and it's great to have a real cabinet and it's fun and you know you're gonna wanna you know have that experience but I think ultimately you know having something like a load box and having the ability to run you know, your amps at line level. <laughs> to me, that's perfect. I mean, this is what I do most of the time, and a lot of the stuff that people like when I record is really not using a real cab, and it sounds amazing. Um, so, you know, it works for me. Um, it's just something, something to think about. All right, see you later.